Welcome to Innocence Tarot. We're going to do another Divine Masculine update. We're going to use the Karmic Confessions of Mystic Mohawk, okay? And once I finish shuffling, I will turn down the music, okay? Right after I finish shuffling. Wow. 
Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Okay, push that like button. Thank you so much for being here. Um, I'd just like to sit up here and touch bases with you guys. You know that I am still have two emotional support puppies. Okay, and um, they're going for $350 if you live in California area. Get your emotional support dog. It comes with two outfits, a collar, bag of food, and it comes with um, an eating tray. Okay, so you come with a lot of little goodies. Okay, and they're just so adorable. Okay. And also, I'm doing protection bubbles for self for $22. And I started sitting up here um, doing the $44 family bundle for um, one adult and four children, okay? Because it's a lot of uh, bullying going on. Our children is being attacked in all type of different ways. And they just need that extra protection as well, not just us. Because, you know, the devil is easier to sit up here and try to manipulate our children because their minds ain't strong. They're not equipped it, okay, for how this devil gets down, okay? And then the karmic sitting up here wishing shit, doing shit on your kids and shit, doing conflict spells. I done heard, I done got so many emails about different things that's been going on in people's households. It's hurtful. And I just got to sit up here and do something. I got to sit up here and God told me to sit up here and do a family bundle for the children included. And I'm going to sit up here and be obedient and do what God tells me to do. Okay? So, you know, like I said, um, I'm going to work with everybody, and I want all our children to be um, protected. That's why I said one adult, one adult and four children um, will get protection bubbles for their 90 days, okay, with no harm, no danger, no evil comes to your child, okay? This shit is real. I don't want no more children committing suicide. I don't want no more children sitting up here feeling like they got to just take their life. You really got to. It's just you really got to really be hurt and really in a lot of pain when you feel like you ain't got no other avenue. You feel me? And for a child to be bullied, got to go to school and there's bullies and people want to fight them because they're different. They minding their business and they got to have their phones up, you know, fighting these children and doing this and doing that for no reason. Your child ain't got to do nothing but the demons in them. They light agitate the demons within them. And here they go being a target, not knowing why this is happening to them. Okay. Your child is always going to be under attack. You are divine feminine. Okay. Your glow, who you are, your essence is within your child. So they're going to always be under attack and people fucking with them for no fucking reason to the point that you got to stay prepared and you got to have that protection bubble. You got to have extra prayer. You got to do have your crystals. I mean, you got to really be on point with this spiritual warfare to really be able to fight this shit back. OK, on some real shit. And we want our children's minds to be, you know, sharper and be able to pick up on bad energy for them to know when they got the move. Protection bubble and being able to just have the essence of God around them and protected and covered with the blood of Jesus each and every day. You can't go wrong. Ain't nothing getting through the blood of Jesus. I promise you that. Okay. And I've been doing this for seven years. Okay. And I ain't never, ever had nobody sit up here and tell me. Everybody come and reach out and tell me them protection bubbles. And I also do them on myself. I'm trying to tell you. Because when we didn't know about it, we was under attack. We was in our feelings. We were going through mild depressions. We were hurting with a, a, a breakup. We, we literally had a broken heart. Our divine mask. Our divine masculine broke our heart in half to the point that we had a transformation. To the point that God just had to come and just come and just give us that extra nurturing that we needed at that time okay we was broken hearted okay and if i would have known about a protection bubble back then none of that shit would have phased me okay i ain't into keeping no no man that don't want to be kept okay so the more and more you ascend and the more and more you really see what this journey is and the more and more you love yourself it just make you just sit back like why in the hell what was wrong with me at the time but you know what? I had to invest back in myself, show myself love to the point that when you show yourself love, you know your value and you just not going to put up with the bullshit no more, period. Okay? You just missing all that shit. And if you need cord cuttings, reach out as well. Okay? So you can be able to cut any kind of energy, any kind of toxic ass bullshit from your divine masculine. 
okay? Your friends, family members, and everybody that don't mean you no good, that's been pulling you down for years, that's been hating on you. You want to go on with your life to the point that it don't bother you. And for people not to feel like you're obligated to have to, you know what I mean? Like, no, you just want to cut the cord to not be all up in the mix of nothing but self, okay? That's what the whole mission is as well. That's one of the lessons. We sitting up here giving and helping everybody else instead of worrying and investing in our own damn selves. And God had to reteach us all over again to put ourselves first. That's how honorable, that's how bomb, that you know, being a divine feminine is. Like, we be willing to take our shirts off our back, give anybody anything to eat, anything. I'll take my shoes. I'll give my food to a homely person. If God tells me to sit up here and do it, I'll be obedient, okay? I've been many a time. I got, I got a trunk full of clothes. I be sitting up here giving to them and everything else, okay? And giving them a few dollars, okay, if I got it on me, okay? On on some real shit. I be putting my mission work in. God be pleased. And if you got some old clothes or anything, please put it in your trunk and give it to a homeless person that you know that will need it. Don't just sit up here and leave it in the closet knowing that you ain't never going to wear the shit again, go give it to somebody. Go pay that shit forward. God going to sit up here and give you that tenfold. God going to sit up here and make sure that you sit up here and get a brand new wardrobe and some by just sitting up here doing the right thing and helping somebody else. It's going to come back. I promise you that. God rewards his, okay? Hmm. So, anyway, let's get into this energy, y'all, okay? So, it looked like Divine Masculine, okay? He going through a whole lot of drama, okay, at the present moment, okay? It looked like Divine Masculine was sitting up here, okay? And I just had another reading right before this one, okay, that was saying the same thing, but in a, in a different deck. It looked like Divine Masculine was sitting up here sleeping with one of his homeboys, somebody that he hangs out with, and it looks like his rumors being spreaded about him and this homeboy sitting up here having a wild banana night, okay? So when they was having this wild banana night, okay, hmm. it looked like shit that came out, okay? Yeah, it looked like some skeletons that came out, okay, about Divine Masculine and some guy that he hangs out with, okay, having a sexual relationship, okay, it's the came out or it's about to hit the press, okay, and it looked like people is already sitting up here talking about it, talking about how him and the dude was sitting up here fucking the shit out of each other, okay? But see, Divine Masculine having these badass habits and shit, okay, ain't cool, okay? It looked like Divine Masculine orders karmic, okay? Yeah, it's Divine Masculine. It looked like Divine Masculine was sitting up here trying to provide a lifestyle for this fucking karmic, been up here fake flexing, acting like he had it, and he was out here straight selling fucking dick to pay bills, okay? She even seen this. You see what the cards say? He was selling his ass on the fucking internet, making money, and then it looked like she caught him being inappropriate at one time. So why he out here fake flexing, acting like everything over there with the karmic? It ain't okay over there with the karmic. They over there struggling and going through all type of shit. Why they sitting up here pretending this shit, okay? The karmic continues to see how divine masculine is, and, sh and he continues to see how she is. They continually keep on switching up on each other, lying to each other. They be up here arguing and fighting and shit, and it looked like um some shit came out that divine masculine was doing, and it looked like the karmic found out that divine masculine was sitting up here fucking with a dude. It looked like this shit came out. It looked like divine masculine sat up here and lied and about what what everybody was sitting up here saying, okay? And she got mad and she started destroying his car. She did something to his car to the point that um this could be a reason why your divine masculine really um ghosted you or something, okay? Because um 
because um, this bitch fucked this car up when she found out that shit. Okay, it looked like she was sitting up here hearing rumors, and people was sitting up here telling her that Divine Masculine and his homeboy was sleeping with each other. It looked like Divine Masculine lied about the whole situation. Okay, and this is what made the bitch want to sit up here and um and um destroy his car. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know what I put it at. Okay. Well, let me move this over here. Yep. And this is divine masculine bad habits and shit that always ends his ass up in jail. Okay. Divine masculine could have met this homeboy in jail. And this is this could have been where the relationship started off at. And then when he got out of jail, they continued this relationship on the low. Okay, his homeboy, quote, unquote, okay? See, this is all the type of bad habits that Divine Masculine was having and shit, okay? And see, Divine Masculine, okay, the reason why he manipulates people and he acts a certain way and why he shows out is because he was molested. So Divine Masculine always walking around acting like he the big man on the, on, on the town and everything. But all along, he's covering up the fact that he was molested and he low-key like me. He's bisexual and he's trying to sit up here and figure out what he really wants to do. He wants, it's like he wants to, he wants the best of both worlds, okay? But he manipulates the situation all the time, okay? And this is why he attracted the karmic, okay? See, Divine Masculine, he needs to sit up here and get therapy to be able so they can help him be able to work through the different things, okay, that he went through, okay, that trauma that he went through, okay? And if Divine Masculine don't sit up here and get therapy, he will constantly sit up here and continue to keep on having the same cycle over and over again. Divine masculine is a shame. This all this goes all the way back to childhood for divine masculine. Okay. And he don't feel like it's nothing wrong with him sitting up here. Um where'd it go? With him sitting up here sleeping with people, okay. Yeah. With him sitting up here sleeping with people from guys for money and sleeping with close friends, okay? This is what Divine Masculine be out here doing, turning tricks, okay? To pay the bills. He out here sitting up here fucking with cougars, okay? He over there being a narcissist all up in the house, arguing with her, mad that he about to be exposed, okay? Divine Feminine... Okay, Divine Masculine is ready to set up here and be done with the whole situation. He sees that the grass wasn't greener over there with the karmic, okay? The karmic be sitting up here having third-party situations, okay? And Divine Masculine been sitting up here having all type of third-party situations, okay? And it looked like what the karmic who he sat up here and, and cheated on you with, this third party that became between you and his relationship, she seduced divine masculine with blood magic to be able to keep him bounded to her, to be able to make him only fiend for her, to make him only desire her, to only want to fuck her. She did these spells over and over again. Divine Masculine was too blind, too stupid, and too dumb to be able to sit up here and see that this bitch was not no ordinary bitch. This bitch was a fucking wicked-ass witch, okay? Dumbass, musty ass mouth bitch. Okay, yes, this bitch stooped that low. Why he out here want to sit up here and be in third party situations and shit? Then ran into the fucking devil. Okay, now his ass is sitting over there stuck, disgusted and mad. Okay, and this bitch done done so much black magic on divine masculine that she done made him confused to the point he don't know if he gay or not. He over here being bisexual and don't even mean to be because this bitch continues to do all this blood magic on him. Okay, he done brought the devil into his bedroom and look at all this shit that's going on with divine masculine right now. Okay, this shit is crazy. Okay.
This shit is crazy. This shit is out of control. Okay. Where it go? Hmm. Hold on, damn it. Where it go? Okay, I'm going to just keep it pushing. Okay. Yeah. And then Divine Masculine over there arguing with the um Karma. He over there sitting up here hanging out with the homies and hanging out with his friends. He's sleeping with some of his friends. Divine Masculine out here lying to people. He never sitting up here satisfied with nobody. Always sitting up here thirsty for the next situation. Anybody. Divine Masculine is the type of person that he'll sit up here and fuck your mama. Okay, if she has some money, okay, I ain't lying. He'll lie about it. He that type of man, and he just he just on that, that sleaze ball fucking um list that it that you don't put nothing past his ass a sleazy ass motherfucking list that you don't put nothing past his fucking ass. Okay, for real. Divine Masculine always sitting up here, never fucking satisfied, always trying to sit up here and look at somebody else and everything. But it looked like Divine Masculine ended up sitting up here going to the doctor. Divine Masculine got him some test results that came back. Uh -uh. Okay. Yes. It was a STD indicated. Okay. Why he out here sitting up here strong arming bitches with dick out here. Okay. Now his ass sitting up here going through the fucking motions, out here fucking people, being bisexual, every fucking thing else, all because this bitch wanted to sit up here and continue to do this black magic. She is like she confused. Like he's so confused to the point he's making mistakes out here in the street. For real, okay? Like Divine Masculine got to sitting up here neglecting the karmic. She was sitting up here lonely, okay? He wasn't sitting up here fucking her. He was sitting up here hanging out with his friends. And he was hanging out with his friends to the point that they had a sexual encounter, okay? They had a sexual encounter. And Divine Masculine, he is ashamed, okay, about these skeletons that came out about him and this friend, this close friend, okay? Divine Masculine is embarrassed, even though... He enjoyed having sex with this man, okay? But it was this dumbass fucking raggedy ass bitch that sat up here and kept on doing fucking blood magic, trying to lock his ass to her motherfucking ass, just thirsty with a dry ass cat, out of fucking control out here to this bitch stoop this low. And this man is out here doing all type of shit that he don't even want to sit up here and do. But he under some kind of spell to the point that he just extra sexualized right now. All because this bitch would not stop doing this fucking black magic, okay? If your divine masculine wasn't gay, he'd been experimenting, thinking about shit. And now he's caught up in a situation that whoever he was dealing with and everything has been came obsessed with him, wants him to be his boyfriend, when divine masculine don't want none of this. Some shit, he was in a weak moment, and it looked like Divine Masculine let some things go down that he didn't mean to let go down, okay? But he had some motherfucking help with that decision, too, okay? He just did. And this bitch sitting up here doing binding spells, not knowing that she fucking with demons and fucking spirits and shit. Sitting up here bringing that shit into the household, confusing his sexuality, taking him back to when he was molested. All because this bitch sitting up here trying to be on some control shit. And he ain't willing to walk away from this bitch. Now look at his ass. Okay? His ass won't come and, and be sitting up here really telling you how sorry he is. Okay? He gonna sit up here and tell you how this fucking crazy ass, low down ass, stripper ass bitch was sitting up here doing him. Okay? Okay? No, he says he's only sorry he got caught. Okay? Yeah. This investigation finna sit up here and come out. This bitch don't care if anybody know that she was doing spell work. She don't give a fuck. She still stands on being on that evil ass shit. Not knowing that she's sitting up here. He ain't fucking her. And he out here fucking homeboys and, and putting this, getting drunk and hanging out to the point that shit like that happened type shit. 
all because this bitch sitting up here on some extra ass shit. Never had a motherfucking dude. And she said she never had a dude that did anything for her. So this bitch sat up here and said that she was going to keep Divine Masculine. She said she ain't never, ever met a fool, a dummy like him. So she said, I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to do whatever I got to do to sit up here and make sure I'm taken care of. And this bitch done did everything and some. Yeah, he there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's still paying bills because he out here selling dick and ass for it on the internet, too. Y'all seen that shit? The cards? On oh, some real. He out here selling shit on the internet. Okay? And this bitch so insecure not knowing that she opened up the gates to fucking the Pandora box. Just let some evil ass shit out. And to the point he, he having sex with everybody else but her. How you going to sit up here and take over somebody else's free will just because you too scared to lose somebody? They both be doing shit to each other. It's so many people that want divine masculine and this karmic with their head on a platter. They always in the mix of some bullshit. He always in some shit. She always in some shit. Okay. And they study defending each other. Okay. Hmm. It looked like this karmic sit up here got a GPS on Divine Masculine's fucking phone. Okay. This bitch be out here having sex fucking with other people and just recently sat up here and got an abortion. If she even told Divine Masculine. Okay, the truth. Okay, but it looked like the bitch didn't. Okay. <laughs> For real. Okay. But yeah. Look like the Divine Master could have sat up here and tripped the fuck out, too. Once he sat up here and got them fucking test results showing, okay, that he had an STD. Divine Masculine could have sat up here and tripped the fuck out, beat this bitch ass and everybody else around him when he got this fucking blood work back. When he had to sit his ass down when the doctor told him what was going on, okay? Now Divine Masculine like fuck everybody and some, okay? And now all his karma is coming back to hunt him. But Divine Feminine, you unbothered minding your business. Because why? You too old to be playing any games. You ain't got shit to say about anything, okay? Because Divine Masculine, he continued to sit up here and be cheated on by the karmic. This bitch had an extra drug habit. This bitch was out of control. She was always getting caught fucking around with somebody, too. She always had somebody motherfucking balls in her fucking mouth. This bitch was always doing this shit. And she's the type of bitch she'll fuck with some drugs just to hang out, party with you easy fucking bitch at that. Okay? And everybody talking about Divine Masculine, this karmic, okay? Everybody on the internet, all up in their face, all up in their neighborhood and everything else. How these two losers is sitting up here falling from grace, okay? Karma is a motherfucker, okay? It is, okay? And this is the same ass shit that keep going on and on up in their household all the fucking time. Okay, they always switching up on each other. They always sitting up here fucking and bringing other third parties into the situation. Okay, now they spread STDs. Okay, now Divine Masculine want to sit up here and be done. And now he see the grass ain't greener over now and there. Now he done fucked all the way up. And now that the ship is sinking. Okay, now he done. Okay. But ain't you the same motherfucker that wanted to sit up here and trick all your fucking money off on this toxic ass bitch that you continue to have issues with and still stay? He has so many chances to leave this dusty, musty mouth ass bitch and he still stayed and he was willing to invest in this shit and pay bills with this karmic bitch. Okay, but breadcrumb Jew, why he over here paying full bills with the next bitch? Okay, putting in the effort with this toxic ass bitch that he argue every day for. No. Divine and then wanna sit up here and talk about he's sorry and everything because he going through karma, he under judgment, and he wanna come and tell you sorry. But everything in your body say, you know what, fuck you. Even though you gonna keep it cute, but you just done with it. Like fuck him. Like, I can do way better, gonna do better, looking good. I'm finna sit up here, get through Christmas, 
and really show everybody, myself and who and whoever else is on the sidelines watching. Divine Femme said, fuck him. And yeah, you need to say fuck him because he under judgment and he want to sit up here and come apologize to you. But love don't live here no more. Okay, Divine Femme said, hell no. I'm not going backwards. I'm going forward. You got me fucked all the way up. Divine Feminine said, I see the red flags now. I ain't playing with that bullshit. Mm -mm. Divine Masculine, he was good at playing victim and everything else. Why he's sitting up here, got all these bodies, and now he having fucking regrets, okay? Because he got an STD, okay? That don't look like it's right, okay? He got full regrets on how he was sitting out here acting. And it looks like karma has sat up here and came around to Divine Masculine, okay? He got so many regrets. His karma is sitting up here for what he doing look like he got an STD that he can't get rid of, okay? That's his karma. And he in full regrets with all the bodies that he was sitting up here fucking, okay? Divine Masculine, now since he done got this information from all the bodies and people that he was sitting up here fucking with, okay, he's in full regret and acting now, him and the karma getting into it and everything because he don't know if she gave it to him or his homeboy, he been out here fucking everything that moved and he got a lot of bodies on him, okay? And on top of that, it looked like he could have been spreading this STD to a lot of people is looking for a divine mask because he spread it this disease. A lot of people want to fuck him up. OK, so if you're going to sleep with your divine mask and strap up and make his ass go get full testing, mm -mm, you got to bring them results, boo, if you do. OK, for real, because a lot of people looking for him. He out here burning people. OK. Doing all type of shit out here, trying to get a nut off, okay? Not knowing that this dumbass fucking bitch, okay, is the bitch, the bitch that he wanted, okay? That got his ass in a twist of his ass. Only God can help him get out of, okay? He need, and then to the point, God keep telling him to leave this bitch. And this bitch continued to do the same shit. She'd be like, where you think you going, nigga? And she do this shit over and over again. Just to keep this man. She's so codependent. But it looked like this bitch is under judgment and her ass is going to be on her fucking knees apologizing. Because God ain't playing with this hoe no more. Okay? She's under judgment and she finna be served. Her karma is here. We just seen the karma card. Okay? Yes. All the shit that this dumbass motherfucking musty mouth ass bitch was sitting up here doing. This bitch is about to be sorry. Okay? Karma is fucking here. And it ain't getting away, okay? She done fucked all the way up. Hello. God is right here at the door, okay? And she finna... <laughs> She's under judgment. Everything she did to you. How she did you. How she fucked with you. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. You feel bad for her. It's all bad. 